13. Explanation Two dimensional drawings of three dimensional objects. Ty pointed to an object on a slightly high table and asked, Ty, what is that? Sharad, that's a card which has a nice picture of Laddus. Ty, since you are looking at it from the front, it appears to be a card. Let me turn it around a little and put it on the floor. Sheila, I thought it was a just nice picture on a card. But the picture is actually pasted on a box. Tai. At first, you only saw the front surface. Now, when you look from above and from a different angle, you can see three different surfaces and you can also see that it is actually a three-dimensional box. Sharad. What does three-dimensional mean? Tai. Three-dimensional objects are objects whose length, width and height can be seen, felt or measured. Books, glasses and tables are some three-dimensional objects. Objects which have only length and breadth and no thickness or negligible thickness can be called two-dimensional objects. Sheets of a paper Pictures on paper and shadows are some examples of two-dimensional figures. Sheila Actually, objects are three-dimensional. Their pictures on paper are two-dimensional. Sharad That is why some pictures seem flat, but some pictures are drawn in such a way that we can sense the depth or thickness of the objects. Now looking at heels in the distance. We can see how tall and broad they are, but we cannot tell how much area they occupy on the ground. One has to go up and above them in a helicopter to see how much area they occupy on land. But then from there we cannot see how high they are. Therefore, to show the area over which a hill is spread and also how high it is, in its different parts, two figures like those below are drawn. In figure 1, we see heels as from a distance. The line shows their approximate height. Figure 2 shows the extent of land they occupy as seen from above and the curved lines show their different heights in different parts. For example, the line that shows 800 meter indicates a height of about 800 meter. Next. Last year, we saw that cutting some edges of a box and lying it out flat gives us the net from which it was made. The two-dimensional shape from which a three-dimensional object can be made by folding is called the net of that object. By folding the cardboard shown below along the lines shown in it, we get a three-dimensional object box in this shape all surfaces are square. An object of this shape is called a cube. The net of another cardboard box is shown in the figure below. By folding along the lines in this net, and joining the edges to each other. We can see that a three-dimensional box is formed. The surfaces of this box are rectangular in shape. An object of this shape is called a cuboid.